Welcome to another edition of the Great Shield uh, Investment Channel. My name is Akin Famor, and I'm excited to be here tonight again uh, to share some information uh, on uh, investing in the stock market and also investing in the crypto market. And I'm always very optimistic, but in the last 24 to 48 hours, a lot of you uh, probably have been like seeing what's going on in the stock market and that has also trickled over into the crypto market. Uh, the stock market has been going down. It's been in the red for the last uh, two trading days. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial has actually gone down about 1,300 points in the last two days. Uh, coming down from around 27,000 plus to about 25,000 points uh, dollars right now. So uh, a lot of sector in the stock market are actually red right now. And people are asking questions. A lot of folks are asking questions right now. Is the stock market crashing again? And also, is the crypto market crashing uh, I'm going to share my own uh, insight. This is just an educational video, uh, more informational, and it's also for fun for me because I like to educate myself uh, before I invest my money in the stock market and also in the crypto market. So I'm just sharing this video uh, just for fun and information and educational purposes. You have to do your own research, educate yourself, and also enlighten yourself before you put your money into anything out there. So let's go into this and see what's, uh, what's been happening in, in the stock market and also in the crypto market. I'm gonna show you a couple of things uh, that, are, that has been going on in the last two days. Uh, let's look at, um, I like to use this tool, it's called stocktwist.com. It's, um, it's a tool that I like to use because I, you know, you see a lot of uh, live when when the market opens up in the morning, uh, live trades and a lot of uh, invest investors and analysts are commenting on here. You can sign up to join, or you can just uh, just you know bring up the website and then you can just keep reading people's uh, comment here, and also you can type in uh, the symbol of any stock that you want to know the live price when when the market real time price so let's say snap um uh, you can see right here uh dow jones industrial index today alone came down over 500 points today that's about 2.13 percent uh uh just today october 11 and yesterday also it came, you know the dow jones industrial index came down over 500 point as well so altogether in the last you know two days it's been about thirteen hundred points. And this has actually made a lot of sector in the trail stock market red all across. You can see here JP Morgan here, uh this is City, Wells Fargo, all those are the financial banking sector, they're all in the red. Wells Fargo today is down about one point two five percent. City. Let's take a look at City. So once you hover over these symbols right here, it will pop up for you to see what's going on. You don't have to click on it. Just hover it. City Group came down 1.21% today too. And let's see JP Morgan. About 1.8. You can see the consistency around across the banking sector, financial and banking sector. Uh, one more thing. Let's look at a couple of uh, banking uh, sec uh, banks and see what happened. Uh, Bank of America, which is BAC. Let's see how they perform today. And it's consistent across Bank of America, about 2% uh, down today as well. Which other one is there? Uh, let's look at Barclays, BCS. So we've seen all the major big banks came down. They're all consistent across. So banking sector was really banked up today. They're all red right across. Another sector that was really red and down yesterday was uh, the FANG. Uh, those are the tech companies, you know, Facebook, Amazon, uh, Google Alphabet, and things like that. Those ones are down yesterday. So let's look at Facebook, how Facebook performed today. I think Facebook is in the green. Uh, yeah, Facebook was in the green today, but yesterday, uh, this is three month chart. Let's take a look at uh, just one week chart so we can see 
what I was talking about. You can see the one week chart right here. Today's 10, 11. So yesterday was 10, 10. Uh, it was down and then it came down, it came down and then see, it's beginning to go back up. Yeah, it was down yesterday and uh, today it's in the grade about 2.68% today. Um, let's look at, uh, which other one should, let's look at Twitter. Um, so, you know, so basically the, the um, I, I would say the technology sector was a little bit, you know, not banged up today. They are mostly in the green, but overall it comes back to this question out there uh, that um, is the stock market crashing and is the crypto market crashing? Uh, I'm just going to start with the stock market. I don't believe the stock market is crashing at all. I think the market is correcting itself. We've been seeing a very bullish market, a bull market for a couple of years, months now. Uh, the, the market has just been in an upward, upward movement. And, the, the, you know, there has to be a point where the market has to correct itself. And I think uh, the trigger to this was probably the Fed uh, increasing the rate uh, recently, about last week or two weeks ago. And I think that actually must have uh, triggered this and make the market react in a way that the market has to correct itself back. So I don't believe there is any panic. Uh, you should be, you know, be you know, watchful of your investment, but I wouldn't advise you to uh, make emotional decisions and judgment right now to sell off where you read. Uh, you should always look for opportunities across the market where they are really uh, down. You should look for opportunity to, to reinvest in the, in the sectors that are really red right now. So my advice is just for you to look at where some of the stocks are bottoming out. So if they're bottoming out, look for opportunity to write some of those back up when they go back up. So Dow Jones Industrial, let's take a look. It's down about, so it's around 25,000 right now. I, I personally still believe it might still go, we might still see some bear movement going down a little bit. So probably around 24, 23, 24,000. So be mindful of that. Uh, and when that happens, a lot of these other company stocks will probably come down. And now that we're moving into the earnings uh, quarter where most companies will be releasing their third quarter earnings coming up, most companies release their earnings, uh, third quarter earnings in, in the month of October. So we shall start seeing, we should be seeing a couple of uh, change in movement uh, when those earnings starts coming out. So... I don't believe the market is crashing. So let's go over to the crypto market. Remember, I always like to uh, make use of coin market cap. Remember, this is one tool that I like to use where all the information about crypto is. So the top 100 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization. Today as well, look across the top 10. Let me show you. The top 10 uh, cryptocurrencies are all in the red. They've been down. Um, look at Bitcoin is down. You know, Ethereum is down about 6.6%. Earlier today, XRP was down about 10, 11%. So they are all, I think, there is a correlation, you know, between the stock market and the cryptocurrency market as well. So we can see, we, we can see here that the stock market is red across and that trickles over to a cryptocurrency market as well and i see opportunity to invest here uh i wouldn't when i see red i don't get scared a lot because i look for opportunities where i can write some of these companies or some of these cryptocurrencies and see where i can put my money and invest and try to uh, make some profit when they go back up xrp is one that i'm really you know always excited about i always start, you know talk about xrp all the time ripple xrp my, my videos that i uh, uh produced about two or three days ago xrp was trading in in like around in the 40s close to 50 cent now, now it's in you know below 40 i see an opportunity to uh put some more money in the ethereum i mean it's like 192 that's a no-brainer it's an opportunity to get in right there and the reason why I'm saying there is opportunity in the crypto market and also in the stock market is 
whenever you see a shake up in the market and uh, a lot of folks that are uh, you know they don't they don't know how to handle uh, tension and how to manage risk they sell off when the market is red and selling off when the market is red uh, I don't believe is the right decision to make uh, you know my risk tolerance level is high I always look for opportunities around in the market when there is a beer market. So there is so much opportunity here. Um, so look at uh, Ethereum Classic. That's under $10 right there. That's another good one to put your money. EOS right here, uh, number five is $5. That's a good one. And one other one that I just started, uh, Stellar. Stellar is close to uh, Ripple XRP in terms of their utilization. That's 21 cent right there. So there is opportunity to, but you need to do your own research. Uh, don't take my word for it. Do your own research. And I do my research every day, all the time. So let me show you some of the news that came out today about XRP, Ripple XRP, and what the folks are saying out there. Bitcoin has suddenly dropped 5%, dragging Ripple and Ethereum down. So let me refresh this, maybe the uh, new uh, current news. This was Ripple XRP is still on track for long-term gains. See, that's one thing, this is from Crypto Daily. Um, so you can see here, there are a couple of articles that came out six hours, eight hours, nine hours ago. Just Google XRP news. You can see what the uh, institutional investors and a lot of investors out there around the globe, what they are saying and what the company itself is saying. This is a good news as well. Ripple expands reach as one of the biggest crypto exchanges in life. So there is so much positive news out there for Ripple XRP, even though the crypto market is in bear mode right now, a lot of the uh, uh, cryptos are going down. I see opportunity to get it, but do your own research, please. Um, and then I also check out uh, uh, cryptocurrency news generally. Let me show you something here. So always do your own research. That's the only way you can be comfortable with where you're putting your money. So when you type in cryptocurrency news, let's see what's out there. Nearly 13 billion wiped off of cryptocurrency market as major coins, you know, uh, drops in, 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 in price value. So that's from CNB, CNBC.com. So there, there is, there is, you know, uh, volatility going on right now. But don't be scared. I, I'm not scared right now. I still see opportunity in the market. So to answer this question, is the stock market crashing, and is the crypto market crashing? I don't believe so. I believe the market is correcting itself, and I believe cryptocurrency has a long way to go, and it has come to stay. I don't believe it's going anywhere soon. It has come to stay, and some of them are going to be something, uh, you know, currencies that we're going to be using in the future. So you need to educate yourself, know where you want to put your money into, and uh, make profit in the future as well. So I believe this video, you know, is helpful uh, to someone out there. But still, do your own research. Please subscribe to this channel, uh, share my videos, like the videos, and. Um, look out for the next video that I'll be publishing tomorrow. Have a good night, guys.